uh, Judge Ochoa put a warrant out to bring you back to deal with the shopping carts. I'm going, you gotta be, well, it's a warrant, so if I don't go, I go to jail, right? So she brought me back. I'm in Judge Ochoa's court. Kemp saw the whole thing. A gangbanger from Ventura had so brutally beaten this mother's son's head in, he was brain dead. She's reading a statement to the court. The mother, cry, we're all crying. Ochoa blurts to the gangbanger, if you ever come back to Santa Barbara County again, that's it. He sent him back to Ventura. And I stand up, I go, your honor, you're sending this man who bashed this woman's son's brain and she has brain death, and you're sending him back to Ventura, and you're putting me in jail for shopping carts? You take care, be safe. That's the stroller. That's what comforts a home. My blanket, sheet, a towel, pillow. That's what I sit on. They, they've been chill about. As long as I don't sleep here, it, they're pretty chill about me leaving my stuff here. No, that was one place. Now that's no longer available. Where the hell are we supposed to go? The answer always is anywhere but here. Go away. Go somewhere else. My wife and I have traveled from South Africa to Australia to New Zealand to South America to Europe to you know, Croatia to all over all over the world and and I have never seen in uh, in all the travels we've gone to I have never seen any place any city where the homeless and the poor were treated so badly as they are here I just th there has to be some you know, magical, I guess it would be magical thinking, but I would, if I, if I could say anything, I, I would hope that we would have a, a resurgence of soul and, and caring in this country in which we could actually identify with the quote-unquote homeless as we might identify with a family member.